What are the services that you give to your clients? Well, most of the time when clients come into the Crisis Resource Center, um, they're kind of in crisis mode. So a lot of the time it's giving referrals or finding out, um, you know, what their situation is, how can we help them, are they at the hospital, are they um, meeting with the police officer, do they need assistance with that. We're basically another support system, um, and if Mish wants to add a little more on that. Yes, basically we're there to work with the client regardless of whatever other agencies might want. So if we have a person who shows up at her door and they've been beaten up by their partner, um, husband or wife, or siblings, we're there to give them, like Lacey said, their resources. But if they choose that they don't want to prosecute, if they don't want to make a police report, they really have no no say whether the perpetrator is going to be um, charged with a criminal offense, but they can certainly have a say whether they want to report it to the police, um, if they would show up at the hospital. Um, and if they're under 18, the hospital is mandated to report that because it becomes a protection issue. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're talking somebody 18 and older, they have a choice as to what they want to do. And so we're going to be supportive whatever their decision is to do, but we want to try to keep the victim safe. And we want to be a support person, whether it's transportation, whether it's going to the county attorney's office, the police department, the hospital. Um, maybe they need safe housing, and so we'll take them to a shelter, or we'll put them up locally um, in some shelters. So um, we're there as that person that can work and guide them kind of through the process. How has domestic violence affected our community? Well, I'll tell you, last year we saw a total of 440 clients, and those are new to our program. Um, and those are ranging um, basically adult people that we have dealt with, men and women. And then our abused children's program saw 426 clients um, that came in. And those would be for minors all the way through age 17 that we dealt with. And those would either be kids that came in with their parents to do an order um, for protection against their partner, their father, it could be a friend, or a harassment restraining order also. So basically that's what we've dealt with when we talk about domestic violence. And then sexual assault is, again, is a different program, and mm -hmm. Lacey can't you know, address that yep, too. Last year um, we had 79 new clients for the whole year, so and if you add that up, I mean total we had almost a thousand new clients just for that year and that's just new clients so mm -hmm. it's not including the ones who are repeats or coming in again um so if you add that up that's quite a few of people who are coming into our center and well, a lot of times what happens is initially they'll come in and they'll want to know what their options are and then it's up to that person to decide what they want to do it's not our decision we can only give them their options it's up to them to decide what's best for their situation. So sometimes we might get that victim coming back and saying, I've thought about it, and this is what I'd like to do. And so we might see them several times to help them transition from where they were when they initially came in to when they actually might leave that situation. How will the high school cash drive affect the organization? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know what, we're always, I mean, because we're a nonprofit agency, mm -hmm. it really is helpful if we can get any kind of financial assistance to help us provide services to clients. Um, basically, we really rely a lot on donations um, from contributors, private contributors, or um, on our sheet here, United Way, we get Bremer Banks giving us money, Federated has helped us out. So it really goes to provide services to clients. So anything that we could get is really appreciated by the staff and the organization. And more on that, our services are free to our mm -hmm. clients, so our funding is really crucial.